Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me in part two. In part one, I machined the base, the tank and the lid. In today's video, I will be machining the internals of the oil can Let's draw a plan and make a start. What we will need to make. Stainless steel plunger rod. Brass plunger cap. Two pieces of brass pipe. Brass tip. Brass pump housing. Two brass valve seats. Stainless steel bung. Finally, the brass filler cap. Let's head over to the lathe and make a start. To start, I'm going to make the oil pump housing. The first step is to reface the end and bore out the centre for the push rod tube. I'm just going to turn the outside diameters of these two bits down to the correct size. All marked out and ready to part off. I'm going to finish it off with a hacksaw to save damage in the piece. The next step is to cut a lip for the valve seat. Final operation for the pump housing is to part it off and reface the end. I might have to finish it off with a hacksaw. <laughs> so there you have it, there's the first part the oil can internals made. The next step is to make two valve seats. These are two caps that have a small hole in the centre to allow the oil to flow. I'm going to start by refacing the end and drilling the centre hole. So here's the first valve seat ready to be parted off, but we'll repeat the process to make the second. The 
two valve sinks are complete, it's time to move on to the plunger rod and the bung. I'm about to make the pump plunger. I'm going to use the stainless steel bolt. I'm going to rough cut it in the vice with a hacksaw. The next step is to reface the end and turn a section down and thread it. Here I'm using a die supported by the tailstock to put an external thread on a stainless steel rod. I swapped it around in the chuck. I repeated the process. The plunger rod is complete. Moving on to the rod retaining bung. I'm gonna make this out of a stainless steel bolt. The first step is to reface the bolt and the second step will be to turn the outside diameter of the head down to the correct size. The next step is to drill the hole. I'm going to start with a centre drill. I'm going to do this in three stages. That's the rod retaining bung finished. That's all the stainless steel parts complete. It's time to clean the machine up and move on to the final brass parts. I'm just about to make the plunger cap out of the stock piece of brass. I'm going to start by refacing the end and then drilling a hole and tapping it out for an internal thread. The final two stages for the plunger cap is to turn the outside diameter down to the correct size and part it off. One final reface just to clean up from the parting off. Next, I'm going to make the oil pipe tip. I'm going to start by drilling out this piece of stock brass, then I'm going to flip it round in the chuck and put the profile on it.
final steps are to put the taper on the end and part it off. That's the oil pipe tip complete. It's time to move on to the plunger rod piston. To make the plunger rod piston, I've already refaced this piece of stock brass. I'm about to centre drill it, final drill it, and then tap it. Final steps to the piston is to turn the outside diameter down to the correct size, put the piston ring groove in it and part it off. The plunger rod piston is complete, next is the valve spring housing. I've been pretty lucky with the valve spring housing, I found a piece of stock very close to the size. All I've got to do is part it off to the correct length, reface it and turn the lip down for the valve seat to sit on it. The valve spring housing is complete, moving on to the brass pipe work. Pre-cut a piece of this brass tubing down. I'm going to put the first bend in it and then I'm going to cut it off. Put the second bend in it and then trim it down. Pipe works all cut, all ready for filing and deburring. Just finished the second piece of pipe work. The next step is to drill the holes in the lid. Here's the lid I made in part one. I'm going to drill the oil pipe and the pump plunger bung hole. So there you have it, the oil can is fully machined. Please join me in part 3 for assembly and more details have how to win this lovely little piece. Thank you for watching.